Hey guys, today we're gonna twins the Necropolis B12. As usual, we're gonna keep nerfing our runes until we cannot win anymore. Now let's take a look at our runes. First, we have Igar, who's not even skilled up. Now he's on my city runes, hence the city stats. The twins, however, are on my best violin set. After all, I use the twins almost in every way, so I give them my best set. The Raok also quite pay to win as you can see, and the Colin not so pay to win because this is your typical support at this stage, you should be able to get that. Now Necropolis is where the twins really shine because they have a lot of multiple hits. Also Raok multiple hits with the team up, and Igar multiple hits with the first skill and second skill, which is very nice. Colin multiple hits with the second and first skill. Now this is actually the hardest stage of the uh, dungeon, you would wanna kill the lids before the lids kills you, except sometimes the Let's resist everything that you <laughs> give him. And this is where you need the attack break from the Colin and the Igar. If not, then the Lich might kill someone with the second skill. Random. Randomness. Okay. Now look at how much damage my Talia is taking just from attacking the Golem. She is the most edgy out of the twins. She likes to hurt herself. That's why you need Colin and the... Fam from the fire, not the fire, the dark vampire, to fam her back up. Okay, at the boss states, uh, if you wanna have a fast clear time, you would wanna kill the boss after the boss at least attack you two times. Don't let him attack you three times, cause he's gonna imprison any of your unit. If you're lucky, you could put defense break on the boss and kill him fast. If not, then just go for the imprisoned soul. Don't go after the boss. Cause the boss stat is really high at these states. Okay, can we kill the boss before he imprisons somebody? We cannot. Okay, after this run, we're going to substitute Colin with uh, Shina. We're going to use triple twins, and then you guys are gonna see the difference. It is faster, but more risky. Whereas with Colin, yeah, you may get imprisoned once, but hey, the clear time is still nice. Let's try Shina instead of Colin, and then we're gonna start nerfing our runes after that. The advantages of using triple twins is at this stage, you will never give a chance uh, to the leads to move. Oh, actually, he is going to move. Oh yeah guys, he's going to move. As you can see, if it's better to put Colin here for the chance to put a tight break than the Shina. Oh wow. I forgot that in Necropolis, everyone's speed is almost zero. And that's why I believe that Colin is a better option than Triple Twins or the Shina. Because of that. Cause if anybody dies during the late stage, right, there is no way you're going to win against this fight. <laughs> the barrier is just too thick. <laughs> and the China, thanks to no Colin and no support, she is dying. But hey, we killed the boss fast, that's the only advantage. For our second run, now our Talia is losing her second slot. She's now <laughs> doesn't hurt that much anymore. And the Sabrina also losing the second slot, making her more squishy and less attack. Let's see if we can still beat this dungeon with this rune requirement. Oh my god, look at those stats though, it's so sad. But to be honest, the key in winning this dungeon is actually the Raok and the Colin though. Cause with the Rao, you get a chance to put the attack break on the leads with the team up. And with the Rao, you can get a lot of cooldown reduction for the Sabrina or the Igar to put attack down on the boss. Oh, he got resisted! The attack break did not land! What the heck? This leads doesn't hurt at all. Did you guys see that? <laughs> like, I'm pretty sure even with the defense break that he's going to put, it's not going to kill anyone. That damage was really shit, man. Now, there is no way we can kill the boss before the imprison is going to come into play. <laughs> not with the <laughs> CT attack on our twins. Why do we do this ourselves? <laughs> because I removed the uh, attack slot, I think it has some accuracy on the rune. 
And that is why my Sabrina and Ditalia is not landing their stuffs. <laughs> Do you see the importance of having 45 accuracy? <laughs> yeah, but anyway, we got our twins back on our side. Nerfing the attack on the twins doesn't really hurt our cost that much. It's just going to hurt our clear time. However, if we are going to nerf the HP on our twins, now that's a different story. So if you can't make your twins uh, at least at least this tanky, then just nerf their attack. And you can still win. However, 2 minutes guys, when we could've beat it in 1 minute and 08. <laughs> For our next run, we have nerfed the rune on the Dogo. You know what, I just noticed my Dogo is not Devil Mount up too. The twins also no slots here, the vampire no slots here, Colin no slots. So basically everybody is losing one slot. Let's go. Now, the reason I nerfed my monster, uh, the runes, is so that it's not going to SP to win, right? And I also wanna show that there's a leeway, or at least uh, mercy from come to us to actually not have such perfect runes. But if you can achieve the rune, then why not, right? After all, this is the last stage, the hardest stage of the dungeon PvE that the game is gonna throw at you. Oh, 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 why did he violent against my Rauk? My Rauk is squishy, you know? <laughs> Especially after- Oh, look at that HP! Mm. This is where we draw the line, guys. No more nerfing the Rauk. No more, okay? He <laughs> hit that! <laughs> so yeah, as you guys know it, Rauk is a uh, natri and also squishy. He is an attack type monster who is very, very squishy. So you don't actually want to nerf the rune on, on Dogo. That is where we draw the line. But can we still win though? That's the question. If we wanna win, we need at least one defense break. Come on, somebody file and fucking put a defense break already! We survive. <laughs> Seriously though, no. it's cause we nerfed the accuracy on the twins, they cannot put defense break. But it's not over till it's over. <laughs> Everything got resisted cause we have no accuracy. So this is what you have to prioritize. Uh, HP, accuracy, and then attack. Oh, thank God we won. <laughs> no, it took us way too long to kill the boss. That this thing, guys, it actually came back up. So this is where we draw the line. No, do not nerf the Raok. Alright then, let's conclude the rune requirement. We need to twins the Necropolis B12. So for the Italia, you need only around this attack. Maybe you don't need this much HP if you can kill the boss fast. But if you're going for 67 uh, crit rate only, then you would wanna use her leader skill instead of the Igar. But look at how much better the leader skill of the Igar is. 38 attack, that's huge. As for the Igar, these are the rune requirement. <laughs> look how squeezy he is! And the Colin turns out she doesn't have to be that tanky. And the speed on the Colin actually doesn't really matter as long as he goes first, right? For the Necrophilis. And this is the stat requirement for the Italia. Keep in mind though guys, uh, you would want to have 45% accuracy on most of these units. Cause as you can see, it was not as smooth as it was when we have a lot of accuracy. And finally, the Rao, he probably needs to have the highest rune requirement cause you need some tankiness on this Dogo. So if you can't make him this tanky, then you would want to sacrifice some attack. Cause as you can see, it doesn't matter as long as he survives. And if you guys have any questions, please let me know in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you again in our next video. Bye!